For all the latest reviews, interviews, and everything entertainment in Tamil, Kannada, Malayalam, and Telugu, subscribe to Film Companion South now. As people who review films, we love movies with subtexts and subtleties and complicated narratives. But this movie has Pavan Kalyan. Nenu ka intelligent cinema lagu. I love cinema that stimulates me intellectually. You know, like Miss John say, Meg Giffen, Red Herrings. Only Malayalam cinema just then. And Adi Kuda, Bharatwaj Rangan, minimum seven minutes review under his justa. You know, Kumbalangi nights, just six minutes thirty two seconds. Chulle. So what I'm saying is, I love cinema that stimulates me intellectually. Hello and welcome to Film Companion South. You're watching Not at All Review. My name is Ritha Ranjan. This week's release is Bimla Nayak, directed by Sagar Chandra, with the screenplay and dialogues by Trivikram Srinivas. The film is a remake of the Malayalam film Ayyappanam Koshiyam. There have been lots of remakes in the recent times, but I was curious about this particular one because even the original Malayalam movie seems like a Telugu movie in its treatment. It's the story of two men, one a wealthy, well-connected man and another an honest, hard-working sub-inspector. Both of them have massive egos and will stop at nothing to prove their point. With Trivikram in charge of screenplay and dialogues, one can also expect chuckle-worthy references and funny lines. Bhimla Nayak starts with a bang. We are shown Pavan Kalyan reciting a poem dedicated to the forest and he promises to be the protector. Compared to most commercial movies, this one actually moves fast. We then meet Rana who plays Daniel Shaker. Before we know it, the two men are stuck with each other in a police station. This is where we first notice the tweaks in characterization too. When Daniel's lungi slips off, Nayak picks it up and returns it to him. When Daniel's phone is being checked by the police officer, Nayak asks the officer to focus on the work instead. Nayak also says please and requests Daniel to speak to him. Are we going to see a humble down-to-earth Pavan Kalyan? I wondered. But even before I could complete the thought, the film slipped into generic territory. The original film is a battle between a powerful man and a weary policeman who is in the last two years of his service. Unfortunately, the makers of Bhimla Nayak cannot afford such a luxury. So you get a backstory of Bhimla Nayak and now he's revered as a god in the village. This disrupts the power scales between the two as we know that how can a man, even an MLA son, fight a god? But to Trivikram's credit, the Malayalam film as it is would not have made any sense in Telugu. So it is adapted and we get some laughs thanks to Trivikram's trademark punch dialogues. The songs and the background score by an informed Taman are foot thumping throughout the film. But the curves of the second half strikes and the film begins to twist itself in unwanted plot points. For example, an extended backstory serves as an excuse to fit in yet another fan service fight sequence. This slows down the pace like a surprise drink and drive checking on road number 45. We also lose out on important sequences that would have helped us understand the two leads some more. Like why did they turn out like this? Why are they going to such lengths? What we get instead is side actors like the token old man of the village who mouth lines that are praising the mythological character that Bhimla Nayak is. Sami Yostun Nadu Yata Yadahi Dharmasya Kyanir Bhavati Guna Sekara Yavad Digute Yi Prapanchamanta Ullu Virsko Niyaka Sambai Puchustun Do Yavad Chai Parite Yi Nela Talli Daham Thirutun Do Yavad Chittak Nevel Thakite Yi Uranta Sasa Shama Shinga Raya Utun Do Vadu Vastun Nadu Sir Vastun Nadu Adhiko Vachadu Sami Sikaram Sami the second half of the film is ridden with repetitive action scenes and quite a few logical loopholes. Having said that, the performances in the film keep you invested. Rana Daguvati is solid as the spoilt son of a powerful politician. Even though the second half doesn't do justice to his acting, we get to see a man who is dangerous but is also crumbling under the pressure of stepping into his father's shoes. Nitya Menon's character was disappointing to me personally. The first time I saw them, I was like, oh, he's going to drop her off at college. Oh no, they're married. Okay, nice. Her role was watered down from the Malayalam original. Pawan Kalyan gets a role that seems like a roided out version of himself during political rallies. 
Unlike recent films where he seemed to be sleepwalking through his role, we get to see sides and shades of a Pawan Kalyan we haven't seen for a while. Bhimla Nayak is tailor-made by Trivikram to showcase Pawan Kalyan. It is part fan service, part political messaging. Bhimla Nayak as a film didn't really keep me on the edge of my seat. Too many scenes were identical and the logical loopholes were distracting to me. However, if you haven't watched the original Malayalam movie and you are a die-hard fan, you might like Bhimla Nayak. It has everything you would want in a Pawan Kalyan movie and is better than recent works by the star. I just wish Guruji showed some of his magic though. It seems like a session by Guruji but an online Zoom session. Bhimla Nayak left me wanting more in the words of Guruji himself. Ante akkada space undi kani pace tagindi. Thank you for watching the review. Please do subscribe. Elan Pinchin Cinema. Jeji and the cinema and the paranda and the chada chimpa.